Hello guys, this is Owens Movies and today I will be guiding you through role-playing a demon hunter, covering their lore, characteristics, as well as giving you general role-playing tips. So without further ado, let's get into the lore. 10,000 years ago, during the War of the Ancients, Illidan became the very first demon hunter. Shortly after though, he was imprisoned and for a very long time, few people knew about the demon hunters. Illidan Stormrage was generally hated within the Night Elven society, but there were certain elves that could relate to him. These elves, swearing to defeat the Legion, attempted to replicate the ritual as much as that was in their power. However, they were very few in numbers, and almost all of the demon hunters that we have today were trained some 10 to 15 years ago. The modern generation was purposely created by Illidan in order to fight the Burning Legion. They consist of Night Elves and Blood Elves that followed Illidan or just found their way seeking vengeance. However, the difference this time is that they had a ritual prepared for them by the original Demon Hunter and it was pretty brutal. An apprentice fights a demon and if they manage to defeat him alone, they absorb his demonic essence. After that, they get such horrific visions of the Burning Legion that force them out of desperation to rip out their own eyes. Eventually, they do regain their sight, much different than before, but definitely more effective for their purpose. Lastly, the demon hunters receive special enchanted tattoos that give them the ability to grow in power and contain that fell magic inside them. All of this might not initially seem that bad, but the reality is that very few survive this ritual, 1 in 5, and the most slip into madness just because they can't cope with that inner demon. However, the strongest do survive and they proceed to intense training. With his demon hunters, Illidan invaded and destroyed a big portion of the Netrezim homeworld and ultimately planned to invade Argus, the main base of the Burning Legion. As portals to other worlds require an immense amount of energy to open, Illidan sent his army to Mardum in order to retrieve the so-called Sargirite Keystone. This device would be used for further invasions and attacks on the Burning Legion and even though his demon hunters did manage to retrieve it, in the end, the plan failed. Illidan was defeated by Maiev at the Black Temple and his demon hunters, after returning, were all imprisoned. For almost 10 years, they were bound in the Vault of the Wardens, but recently, as the Legion infiltrated it, Maiev was forced to free them. Subsequently, they were reintegrated into the society that they once left, as now they're a perfect weapon Azeroth needs, joining the Horde and the Alliance. So that is the short history, now when it comes to roleplay, it is all about how you interpret the story and the personality of your character. The first and the most basic thing when creating a demon hunter is choosing the race. In terms of history, regarding this class, there isn't that much of a difference between the night elves and the blood elves as the main thing that really binds them is that they have lost everything they had and the only thing that keeps them going is the hate they have for the Legion. So if you're a night elf, you might have lost your family and home during the third war, which prompted you to find Illidan. And if you're a blood elf, you most likely lost much during the Scourge invasion of Koltalas and have realized that the Legion was behind it all. However, if you do decide to go for that post-War of the Ancients self-taught generation, your safest bet would be to choose a night elf. After deciding your race and backstory, you should think about the way your character went through the ritual and how he feels about being a demon hunter. 
the type of demon your character absorbed is very important and could influence the abilities your demon hunter possesses. But do keep it reasonable, don't say you absorbed some pit lord, a dread lord or some other very powerful creature. Usually the demon you absorb is that specific demon that wronged you, that might have killed your family and scarred you mentally. In most cases either a fell hound, fell guard or maybe even an imp. After that, you have to consider how your character feels about Illidan and his mission. There are demon hunters that follow him without any single question and those that still keep a critical mind. So now you have the race, the backstory and let's expand a bit more into the personality. Very similar to a dead knight, even though not actually dead, demon hunters had a previous life but that tragic event that happened plus the brutal ritual changed them quite a bit. In almost all cases they had nothing that kept them going but that burning vengeance which is why they decided to become demon hunters in the first place. However, now they're being reintegrated into the society they once left, something they never thought would actually happen and different characters cope with it in different ways. Some would very much be loners and would try to stick to their new kin as much as possible, only visiting major cities and interacting with others when it is absolutely necessary. Yet others might feel good about coming back and would do their best to fit in with their old culture. Do keep in mind though that demon hunters wouldn't be treated much differently than the warlocks generally look down upon. Nonetheless, this would depend on the race as most sun elves would definitely dislike demon hunters but the blood elves for example wouldn't have so much issue as warlocks are a normal thing in their society so a demon hunter wouldn't be something so out of the ordinary. Something that also affects the personality of the demon hunters is how they handle that inner demon because he is trapped inside your body which means that he cannot reform himself inside a twisted nether and he is doing his best to trick you and free himself. This can be very taxing on the mind of your character and would affect the way he behaves, so spending time with other people might not actually be that bad of a thing as you wouldn't have to focus so much on that demon. Another thing worth noting is that you shouldn't bring your character back to his old life as he has changed drastically. To a demon hunter things like status in the society and even family wouldn't mean almost anything as opposed to their previous life because right now their prime purpose is defeating the legion. So all of these things combined will matter quite a lot in the way you roleplay your character and interact with other players. Generally a demon hunter would be reserved and wouldn't be the type of person to engage in irrelevant small talk. But don't take this too far as there is a very thin line between roleplaying a good demon hunter and just straight out being an edgelord. So be smart and it would be ideal if you had some previous roleplaying experience as this is definitely not a very easy class to start out with. However, all of the things I mentioned are just general guidelines and feel free to shape your character however you want as long as you don't really twist the lore too much. If you're looking for more information about demon hunters, I would suggest reading the Illidan novel, although if you don't have the time, I made about a 15 minute summary of the entire book so that should pretty much give you all of the relevant information that you need. On top of this, I also made a video on how powerful the demon hunter hunters are, so that will expand your knowledge on the abilities and how demon hunters compare to other classes. Alright and that is all I have for this video, do leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as it really helps out and keeps all the content going and also like the video. Thanks a lot for taking the time out of the day to watch this video and see you next time.